then that excitement might be cut off along the line because the heavens might just open. And uh, it's a big match between Heartland Football Club of Oweri and uh, kicking on Juth, a Josh University Teaching Hospital coming from the city of Jos in north, northern part of Nigeria. And so we promises to be a very exciting time here at the Dan Ayam Stadium. Two teams that are not having the best of times in the Nigeria Premier League today. Heartland Football Club, they lost heavily last weekend and of course a 3-0 to Lobby Stars. Of course, also Jute also lost their game one nil that time. But today, all eyes will be on a team that is under pressure. And that team is Heartland. They are hosting the Juice side. And we're expecting a very interesting game today. Stadium. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ralph. Uh, it's uh, a sad commentary when uh, you look at the way Heartland has performed uh, this season. Uh, just uh, shy of two years uh, from this date, Heartland was contesting the second leg of the CAF Champions League final against TP Mazembe of the Democratic Republic of Congo. How they have gone downhill since then, nobody can fathom uh, the reason. Uh, but uh, they will be hoping to start turning that right uh, beginning with victory from this game. Because uh, for Jude themselves, at the bottom of the table with 22 points after 29 games, I think it's bye-bye to the top division. All right, indeed, and of course, the officials for today, you've got it. Uh, and it's a chance coming to Juth, but uh, frantic uh, defending from Hatland's man. But it's Juth of Jaws trying to give as much as they have taken. But down with one goal. The referee switch. Hatland Football Club, definitely today. They are playing at the real Heartland Football Club that played in the Champions League final just two years ago. The Heartland Football Club that everyone has known over the years. They've been a shadow of themselves in this season, but definitely today, Heartland is up and away. Three goals to nothing. And maybe counting. Not, uh, got a little bit of injury and so he's not on today and the university teaching hospital Jaws uh, look uh, Jaws in their six and their sevens oh, how would you the rains have come down here at the Danayam Stadium in the city of Oweri the capital of Imo State in southeast Nigeria 35 minutes gone by, Heartland 3, and Juth nil to the board that time. The way they are playing, you would think that Juth uh, players have given up. Oh, in football, anything can happen. And that's a foul, for sure. Mwachuku, Obina. Good combination of between um, Okonkwa and Nwachuku. And uh, that's once the ball has been taken away from them. And Jude of Josa making a run right now. Wrong pass. Still Jude. And the cross comes in. And good header. A shot. And that one, a bit that uh, defender that time fell, uh, fell because of uh, the poor pitch. And, but then it wasn't uh, no, no trouble at all for the goalkeeper. Well, Rafa, this is certainly not the sort of surface you want to play on. Uh, the uh, Jude player was. And Atlanta, uh, maybe they might just be bringing in uh, the uh, top scorer for this season. Some coaches would not allow him to concede four goals and uh, remain uh, between the sticks for Juth of Jaws. Good turn that time. Here comes the chance for Juth of Jaws. And this is the one goal to Juth of Jaws. Pulling one goal back. Poor defending by Lucesi. And uh, he's surprised. 
no applause for the goal from this past crowd here all fans of Hatland but it's uh, Jute of Jaws getting a goal back now it's four goals to one in favor of Hatland uh, Ralph, it was complacency all the way here. As soon as they full lost the ball, uh, Hartland was uh, built to concede. Even uh, when uh, the player who crossed the ball, Hassan Hussein, uh, made an error first time, he was allowed to cross the ball still. And captain Danjuma Abdullahi knocked that one into the back of the net behind Basi Akban. Four goals to one, and that was uh, out of the blue. it and uh, some of the fans here I beg your pardon have been beaten all over by the youth defenders Ambassy Akban <laughs> time to waste a couple of minutes uh, for Hatland Football Club they've had everything going for them here today fantastic game they've had they've never had it so good in recent times but today Hatland is the doors. And here it's a move for them. A cross comes in. That is the goal. What a goal from Jute of Jaws. They've been looking around and certainly they've not had a too much of a bad day today. They've got in their second goal of the day. And of course, that goal from the man, his second goal of the day, Danjuma Abdullahi. And it was all about that fantastic cross uh, from down the left that time. And you have to really credit this man, Danjuma Abdullahi, with his persistence.